Hey guys, it's Chaz and Abby. Uh, we're coming to you from the aquatics department with our very own wide time uh, workouts. So these are gonna be some home exercise programs that all of our swimmers can follow to make sure that they're staying in shape and getting ready for the swim season when we start back up. All right, so today we're gonna go through our core workout. Uh, we know how strong the core has to be to be able to efficiently swim. A lot of that comes from that rotation each and every stroke. Okay? So a lot of this is focusing on all of the core from the back all the way around. All right? So we're going to start out with crunches. So a couple different positions, legs straight, knees bent, either or. Hands can be behind the head as Abby shown or across the chest. From here, small controlled movements, trying to lift those shoulder blades off the ground. Good. We're going to move to side crunches. So here you're just dropping your knees to one side, hands either behind the head again, across the chest, coming right up. Again, lifting off the shoulder blades off the ground. Yep. Obviously, make sure you do both sides. When you do these, breathe out on the way up, breathe in on the way down. Good. Moving to full sit-ups. So again, knees can be straight, knees can be bent, either or. Coming up, all the way up to a seated position. Next, we're going to move to toe touches. So we're going to keep those feet pointed towards the sky. Swimmers, we know to point those toes. Arms, reach right up. All right, a little more advanced. Moving to V-ups. So same thing here. Toes pointed towards the ceiling. That streamlined position, go all the way up. Next, we're going to move to trunk twists. Feet can be planted on the ground or elevated, as Abby's going to demonstrate. Rotating side to side, trying to touch that ground. As you get stronger with these, you can add some weight. Cans of soup, heavy books, book bag filled with stuff. All of it can make a change. All right, we're going to move to bird dogs here. So hands and knees, wrist directly under that shoulder. Abby's demonstrating the more advanced version, moving opposite arm, opposite leg. I'm demonstrating the less advanced version, moving one limb at a time. Keep that core nice and tight. Don't let that back round out. We're going to move to flutter kicks next. So Abby's going to demonstrate the more advanced version, streamlined position. I'm going to demonstrate the less advanced. Again, small, tight kicks, just like you're in the water. Keep that belly button towards the ground. Last but not least, we'll finish up with a plank. For swimmers, shoulder stability is important, so we want you up on those hands, wrist directly underneath that elbow. Keep that core nice and tight. Make sure you breathe. All right, guys, when you're doing these exercises, start out nice and easy. You know, do what you can. A couple sets of five, then move to a couple sets of eight. So for example, week one, you might start out three sets of five. Week two, three sets of eight. Week ten, three or <laughs> week three, three sets of ten. As you get stronger and stronger, move to a circuit base. So you do one set of each exercise, moving all the way down. Then you take a break, start back at the top. As you get stronger, shorten those rest periods. All right, guys, hope this helped. See you guys soon.